Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add VU meters to tracks in Reaper. So, for project setup here, and I want to add VU meters to the tracks. And we could do this by adding a third party plugin. So, let's go to a browser window. And let's search Reaper Stash, which will take us to this website right here. And then we'll search VU Meter, which will take us to this file by Xeno Mod. Let's choose it. And it shows up here. And we can download it here. Then we can go back to Reaper. Then we should go to the options menu and choose Show Reaper Resource Path, which should open up this folder where the Reaper application is. Then we'll open up the Effects folder and grab the file we just downloaded and drop it into the Meters folder. Now, if that file is already in there, just replace it right here. Then we'll go back to Reaper. And let's start with the kick drum. Let's go to the track effects and let's add a new effect. But let's first go down here and right click and rescan for new plugins. Then we'll search VU Meter and we'll choose the one right down here Xeno Mod. Double click it and it looks like this. And we can put the plugin before or after our other plugins, our choice. This is what the view meter looks like, although we could change it using different themes. We could use classic, dark night, purple, mint, pastel, warm, ivory, and trooper. My personal favorite is warm, so let's use that one. And over here, we could adjust the reference level. It defaults to minus 18, but I personally think that's a bit too conservative. So I tend to set it to minus 12. Then we could adjust the warm level, which decides when the peak light turns on. And I tend to keep this at minus six, which is probably the highest peak we should ever see. Then we could adjust the response of the meter, which decides how quick or slow it reacts. And I tend to leave this at the default. Now we don't just want to see this meter in the plugin window. We also want to see it on the tracks. So we should go up here and right click and choose show embedded user interface in track control panel. And that's going to show our meter right in the track control panel. We had a good run. Don't say we did it. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Now, the quickest way to add this to each track is to open up the mixer and just drag it from track to track over here, like this. Then we can close the mixer and see the VU meters on each track. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love. But we could also see it in the mixer. If we right click it, we could choose to embed it in the mixer instead. And then it shows up right here in the mixer. We had a good run. Don't say we did it. But then it's gone from the track control panel. We can't have both unless we duplicate the plugin. So let's put this back to the track control panel. And then duplicate this plugin. Let's drag it from here to here and embed this one 
in the mixer. So now there's a VU meter in the mixer and the track control panel, but it does require two versions of the plugin. Let's duplicate them to each track, but instead of using the same meter for both, we use a different theme for the track versus the mixer. Let's set the mixer to ivory instead. We can set up the settings differently for the mixer as well. Let's duplicate these. Now we have a different theme for the mixer versus the track control panel. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. And if we want this to be in our tracks by default, we could do that too. Let's create a new track right here. And let's add both meters to it. Let's close it and select all, deselect this one and delete the rest. So now we just have the one track and the meter in both places. Let's go to the effects on this track. Let's right click it and go to the effects chain and choose save all effects as default chain for new tracks. So now let's delete this. If we create new tracks in our project, they're automatically going to have VU meters on them in the track control panel and also in the mixer. So we can see our levels on VU meters up here and over here by default. So that's pretty much it. That's how to add a VU meter on our tracks in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.